No one really talked about it, but the Langchain team recently released Open GPTs that are nearly the same as OpenAI Assistant and its API. In this video, I will show you exactly what that is, how to run it on your local machine, and what you can build with it. We will also see why it is a good alternative solution. Let's see what is Open GPTs. OpenGPTs is a library developed by Langchain, which is a framework designed to simplify the creation of application using large language models and AI in general. The project is divided into two parts. The front end, the UI to interact with that is very user friendly and intuitive and the back end that you can call with the API, the same way as the OpenAI API Assistant. Let's start with the front end. Here you have a similar interface than on OpenAI Assistant Playground. You can select the agent type like GPT-4 or Cloud, for example from Anthropic. You will still need to use your own API keys of course and you can also add some instructions to the assistant like for example here saying that it is a document assistant retrieving information based on the document provided and then you can select some tools available from Langchain like the SEC feelings for example or Wikipedia. One of the tools you can select is Retrieval which allows you to embed documents and ask questions about them using OpenAI embeddings by default. And finally select a name for the assistant. Once it is created you directly have the chat on the left side where you can interact with the chat and send messages. So as you can see here I can ask questions about my documents and get immediate answer on them. To install it, you have to clone the GitHub repository, add some API keys in the .env file. Then you will need to install a tool called Docker and you will run Docker Compose up in your terminal. That's the easiest way to run it. I will add a document in the description of this video to explain all of the different steps and links to access it to run it locally. Before jumping into why OpenGPTs are better than OpenAI Assistant, if you like this content so far and want to learn more about the world of AI, please leave a thumb up to the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me with the algorithm. Now let's see why OpenGPTs are better than OpenAI Assistant. The first reason is that it is way more customizable and less dependent on OpenAI. With the recent event at OpenAI with Sam Altman getting fired and then joining Microsoft and then joining OpenAI back, which let's be real was even better than watching Game of Thrones, it became a bit scary to rely on one company, which is OpenAI. If you own an AI automation agency, for example, and you are building solutions for clients, you don't want to put all your eggs in the same basket and you want to be able to easily switch from one company to the other. While OpenAI forces you to use their product, their LLM, their embeddings, here you have the advantage that you can decide what you want to use. On the front end, you can choose between GPT 3.5 Turbo and also Cloud or Azure OpenAI LLMs. But it doesn't stop there. You can go through the code to change and use any other LLM you want. That means you could even run it on a local LLM set up on your server, for example. You can even set the vector store and embeddings that you want to use. The next customizable part are the tools. The same logic applies here. You can either choose between the available tool in the UI, as we saw previously, but you can also add and create your own using Langchain. Now, this is already available in OpenAI Assistant API with something called function calling, but here you can simply check a box and it will automatically use the Langchain tool. There are only a few tools available for now, but I'm sure that there will be a lot more in the future. The next advantage of using OpenGPTs is, is about privacy and confidential information. As I said earlier, running OpenGPT allows you to be able to choose the vector store on embeddings. And this allows you to decide where your data are being stored. You can simply use OpenAI embeddings, but you can also opt for other private companies like Pinecone, or you can even go local and use something like Chroma. This means that you could have your own server where you host the vector store database, with the embeddings of all of your company knowledge. Add the credential of that server in the environment variables of OpenGPTs and run it locally. The document would be protected from any data leakage from OpenAI and you can have full control of your own company secret. That's a massive benefit of using OpenGPT rather than OpenAI Assistant API. The final one is the cost. I tried to run some document retrieval on OpenAI Assistant to find out later that it was costing me 10 cents per request. So 
pretty expensive if you want to request hundreds of information or put it into a server with client facing. I run the default document retrieval of OpenGPT with the default settings and that cost me less than a cent. The pricing with OpenAI is also pretty obscure and in the future you will need to pay way more than what you are actually paying right now. You will have to pay 20 cents per gig per assistant per day for retrieval. The tokens for sending the request that was costing me 10 cents and that's a lot of money. With OpenGPTs, you will only send the chunks of text that are relevant to your query to ask the LLM to generate a response. And you can completely go with the solutions of running your own LLM, vector database and embedding locally to make the cost less linear. Hosting your own LLM might be costing you less in the long run if you have a lot of requests to handle. Now, the project is still at its beginning and there can be multiple barriers to use it in a production environment. For example, there is no authentication system so anyone that can access the server could create assistant and use the API. If you use that project, you will need to do some changes in the code to implement some security layer on top of it. It is also a bit hacky and it's a bit hard to understand how to change the LLM or how to add tools and the document documentation is sometimes a bit lacking, but it's still pretty impressive for an open source project and the project is getting more and more attention every day. I would really recommend you to try it out and let me know what you think and are able to build in the comment section. If you missed on OpenAI assistance or GPTs, I would recommend you to watch this video where I create three assistants using the OpenAI assistant API. You will then be able to compare the two. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.